I had a request to do an old exam question about salt bridges. So this question was on an exam for students that had learned about hemoglobin already. But you could actually do this problem without knowing anything about hemoglobin because all the information is there for you. So that first sentence about the eight salt bridges, you don't really need to know, but it's important to remember that salt bridges are what ionic interactions may be called when they're in a protein. And remember, ionic interactions are between positive and negative groups. So you're told that histidine is at the C-terminal end of a subunit, and it forms two salt bridges, one with a spartate on the same subunit, and one with lysine on a different subunit. So if histidine is making two salt bridges, um, or more specifically, if histidine is at the C terminus, it must have a COO minus group. We do know that histidine has an R group that's ionizable, and at pH 7, a lot of, or not a lot, but there are some R groups that will be protonated. So this clues us in to what's going on. This negative group can be salt bridging with the positive R group of lysine. And this group can be salt bridging with the negative R group of aspartate. So let's draw this in a little bit nicer of a way. So histidine's at the C terminal end. So here's the central carbon. Here's the free C terminus that's going to have a negative charge on it at pH 7. Then here's the NH, and then squiggle line to show that I'm not drawing the rest. The R group of histidine is going to exist in two forms. So we have the form that's neutral, but we also have some of the form where it is charged. And it's important to know that the charged group will be resulting in a positive charge. So if there's a salt bridge with histidine and aspartate, we know aspartate has a negative R group. So here's a little salt bridge. And here is the carboxyl group of aspartate. And so because it's a residue in a protein, it doesn't have a free amino group and a free carboxylic acid group. It's got a carbonyl and an NH. So I'm not going to draw the rest. But I did mention that they were on the same subunit. So to show that, I could just draw a line like that. And there we go. That's our salt bridge between histidine and aspartate. Now the other salt bridge that histidine forms is between its negative carboxyl group and the positive R group of lysine. So here's NH3. I'm just going to save some time. Line drawings were acceptable, so I could have drawn that, but I didn't. But what I am going to draw here is the carbonyl and the NH of the rest of the residue. And that is the completion of this problem. If you wanted to sit and list the things that you're being tested on, I think that would be good, is can you draw the structures? Can you know what something looks like at the C terminus? Do you know how to draw a salt bridge? Can you draw a residue? Not just an amino acid, but a residue, so that 
these these are the groups you have rather than an NH3 and a COO minus. So versus free amino acid. A lot of students drew three free amino acids and that caused them to lose some points. And then there was only, it was only worth one point, but drawing them on the same subunit, indicating that you understood that part of the problem. But that, I think, in my opinion, is the most minor part. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or post on Piazza.